Hi sellers, my name is Maddie and I am Shared Studios Art Director and Senior Graphic Designer. Today I will teach you how to optimize your Amazon Hero images and how you can stand out from the competition. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to know is the difference between a hero or a main image. The difference is that there is no difference. They are the exact same thing. It's just that some of our clients know these as main images, though we call them hero images. Why? Because they are the hero of your listing. They are the first encounter that potential buyers have with your product. Um, and if it stands out, as it should, because it's the hero of your listing, then they definitely will click on your listing and see the rest of the images that you worked for. We have three options of hero images, in-studio compositions, post-production compositions, and um, 3D renders. Now, what is the difference between photos and 3D renders, or rather, when should you use photos and when should you use 3D renders? Photos are very good, especially obviously if you have an amazing camera, but 3D renders are better when we're talking about products that have a lot of details that even the best, most expensive camera cannot like catch in an image. So when it comes to a 3D render, this 3D artist will grab every single photo that you send them of the product and replicate it on a computer where you will have a 3D model that you can rotate, uh, change the lightning, etc. according to what you need. We recommend using 3D renders when we're talking about products that have reflective surfaces such as mirrors, metal cups or metal coffee makers. Here in the screen you will see an image that should have been a 3D render but the client didn't want to pay us um, to do one. Uh, he just said let's take a photo and see how it goes. And so we took a photo and this photo in particular took about a week or a week and a half for me to retouch and make it look like this, which it looks great. Yes, but it would have been half the work had we done a 3D render. Now, as an example of a 3D render, we have this supplement brand called Wellmo. They did 3D renders for their four supplements. Here, if you can see, the label has a lot of detail and that's super important to capture. But as well, when it comes to products that will go inside or on your body, it's important that we see exactly where we are putting into our bodies and that is the reason why we also chose to do a 3D render because we can catch the detail of the gummies, see that uh, how they look is also related to what the ingredients are and that gives a bigger or deeper sense of confidence in what you're putting into your body. Should you use a model or not for your hero images? Now, Amazon guidelines will say that you cannot use a model depending on the product. However, there are products, there are products that even though the guidelines say you cannot use a model, it's always better to use a model and also all of the competitors are using them. In this case, we have a soap dispenser and we thought it was very, very important to have a model there. Why? Because this has an automatic sensor that when you put your hand uh, below it, it will dispense the soap. So how are you going to show that without a model? It's very important. And so by having a model, you not only show the product on the image, but you also show the functionality right away, which is a differentiating factor from possible competitors that will make your clients click on your listing. Then what is our favorite type of hero image? Our favorite type of hero image at Shared Studio would be not necessarily an inside composition, an outside like post-production composition or a 3D render, rather it would be an image that actually stands out. We take the time to look through the search result page to find what people are doing so we can not do the same. In this case, for Econotch, this is a cutlery set that included plates, uh, knives, forks, spoons, etc apart from the beautiful packaging. And so when we put them next to the other possible competitors, which one stands out the most? Even though this is a full white background picture with full white uh, products, or let's say creamy products, it stands out the most because of the composition. Would you buy this one on the left next to the one on the right, the image we made? Obviously this stands out so much more. So it's very important that you put a lot of creativity 
on your listing and your hero images. Should you do A-B testing? A-B testing is extremely recommended, not only outside of Amazon, but also inside it. In this case on screen, you will see that we are uh, showing images of a wallet. I'm gonna move myself over here so you can take a better look. This is a wallet that we worked for called Rossum, and we did um, eight variations of hero images for them. Um, the feedback was amazing, of course, because uh, we use Pickfu. Pickfu is a platform where you can do A-B testing up with up to eight images uh, for your hero images, infographics, lifestyle, etc. on Amazon, even videos. So we use them because they are very reliable. And the best thing is that you can choose starting from 50 recipients that will give you feedback and give you their opinion on which image is better and why. So that is an amazing thing that Pickfu offers. Um, and that is why we highly recommend using them. And that is why we at Share Studio use them. So as you can see here from the eight options, this one was the winner. And if you scroll further down, we will get all of the feedback that the recipients gave. In this case, this one won, but this, one's what, this one was second. So once we did that, the client went on Amazon and did A-B testing inside of Amazon to find out which image was better for them. We did different uh, options because we thought we can show the functionality, but also how good it looks, but also what goes where, like uh, with the usage of compartments, then we have to try and see which one is going to work best. And that was the winner. Now, how can you stand out from the competition when it comes to hero images? As I said, creativity is very important. Pushing the boundaries is very important, yes. But let's take a look at some better tips. The first thing that you need to be is clear and realistic. In these images that you will see here, you will notice that we only have what is included in the package. Why is this important? Because if you have props that are not like included in the product, it can be misleading and this can result in returns and also bad reviews. Now, I said we should not use props. However, in some cases, props can be very helpful. Why? Because they can complement your image and some products are not entirely self-explanatory when you look at a white background image of them. So in, if you see the screen, you will see that in this case, uh, we can show a standard size pizza to help people understand uh, what size the pizza peel is. Um, in this case, we have a baby bag, so it shows that it has different compartments for different things. In this case, we have a whiskey glass kit for cigars that will, um, that will show you not only what's inside the box, but also how you can use the glass to hold your cigar. And in this case, this is a shelf that shows you the depth or the length of the little table that it has on, on itself. So you can put little succulents and crystals there. So that's very important. Now, even though we can play with props, we can keep it clear and realistic. You also have to think that less is more. Yes, so if you see the screen, you will see that these are images in which the product is very clear, that like you can easily understand what the product is, and still it is a creative and a beautiful image. These are dumbbells, so we just place them in a different position, but they are pretty self-explanatory. And if you zoom in, you will see that it has numbers, which means that you can play with weight. Um, in this case, we have the hand sanitizer. It is a three pack. So we play with the position of the bottles. In this case, this is a menu holder. So you have that there as well. And this is just a balm, a cleansing balm, and it's pretty self-explanatory. So that is why that is why less is more and why even though images must be creative, it doesn't mean that you have to do something crazy for them to stand out. Now, as I said before, having uh, a model or props, etc., on an image can uh, be against Amazon guidelines, but at Shirt Studio, we highly encourage our clients to push the boundaries because as you can see here, these images are beautiful, but they might not align with Amazon guidelines. As you can see, we have a model uh, showing a waistband. We have a model drinking the coffee that we are selling. Again, the hand soaps, uh, the soap uh, dispenser, and this is a set of Fox Pampas. So pushing the boundaries can be great and it can really be that factor that differentiates you from the competitors. So you have to identify when to push them and when to just stay 
uh, inside the guidelines of Amazon. That is very, very important. Now, as I said before, A-B testing your images is the most important step when it comes to hero images. Why? Because recipients will give you feedback and will help you understand exactly what other users are looking for when it comes to an effective hero image. We have different options for the coffee that I showed you previously, and we have um, the ingredients falling around it. We have a hand, we have a, oh, sorry. We have a model and we have just the coffee with the grains outside. Now, you may ask yourself, all of, or you may say, all of these images are great, but which one will work best? Which one will make the potential buyers finally click on the listing and look at the rest of the images? You have to know when to identify that and A-B testing can definitely help you take that decision. Now, this is a pro tip from Sherrod Studio to you. Don't always stick to just one one ratio or square format as we call it. Why? Because some products are better in some other ratios and I will show you an example now. These are three different products that you have seen along the presentation that look good in a square format. They don't look bad, but what happens if we try another ratio? Maybe a 1-3 ratio like here. You will see that the product looks bigger, the product looks better, and it has more space for you to appreciate it or for potential buyers to appreciate it. You just have to know when you can use some products in a 1-1 ratio versus 1-3 ratio. Here, because these uh, products are longer or taller, that is why the, the longer ratio works better. And also, if you go to mobile and we search for these images in a larger ratio, you will see that they take more space from the potential buyer's screen. And by taking more space, you're taking more visual time from them, and then you can definitely catch the attention. Thank you so much for watching. Please schedule a free marketing consultation with us where we can answer all of your questions about hero images and any other types of images that Amazon has for you. And watch the rest of our videos. We make educative content um, every week so you'll get to know the best and most effective secrets of Amazon. Until the next time, bye.